736 here on Good Day. The IRS is throwing out the rule book when it comes to the people you hire to do your taxes. The IRS backing off of a new program that was meant to crack down on unqualified tax preparers. This new rule simply means that your tax preparer does not have to register with an agency, pass a competency test, or take any sort of continuing ed classes to do tax returns. One industry expert told reporters that he's, quote, picking his jaw off the ground after hearing about the move from the IRS. He says it could put billions of dollars in tax returns at risk of being mishandled. Joining us now in Good Day Orlando is certified financial planner, the Oracle of Orlando, Joe Burt. Joe, always good to see you. Morning, John. I, I guess the first question for a lot of people is, what do I need to ask my tax preparer before I hand over all my documentation and my money? John, John it's caveat emptor, a little Latin lingo there, buyer beware, but you need to know that your IRS preparer has some background and that unfortunately as you just said the rules are what they are the IRS says or now the courts have really said the IRS wanted to enforce this because the IRS said you know we have a lot of these folks mom and pop operations throw up a sign throw up a shingle have a computer 5995 turbo tax will do your tax but they're really not qualified so what the IRS trying to do is put some regulations in there get licensed get continuing education so we can track you know that you're legit now we're back to the way it used to be anybody can do your taxes including you and Amy. <laughs> well, I do have TurboTax. Maybe I should. I'll hang a shingle you're all, out. You're all set. You know, this reminds me, I was in the banking industry for a while. No regulations on mortgage brokers at that time. Anybody right. could be a banker. Right. Uh, same in your business. A lot of people can just hang out a shingle. Why is the IRS, what are they going to do now about this? Anything? Well, they're going to have to take it to Congress because the tri IRS tried to enforce this through an 1884 law that a judge recently ruled it doesn't apply here. So what the IRS is going to have to do if they want to put some regulations is take Take it to Congress, have a law, and then get everybody regulated. And really, that's the way it should be. Because if you look back, you, you all have done stories in the past where you have these fly-by-night tax preparers, and then all of a sudden, uh, the tax returns have been bounced, people have lost money, and the guys are gone. So what should you do if you get audited, come to find out the guy that you hired to do your taxes was a plumber. He's now gone to his day job. Are you out? out yeah, 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 you, yeah, you are. The thing you need to do is the gold standard is use a CPA or an enrolled agent. A CPA or an enrolled agent. Don't go to these fly by night operations. Wow. Uh, by the way, what do big companies like H&R uh, Block and some of the others, what do they think about this? Well, they were in favor of this because it eliminated the small guy. And they have, requ they have requirements and regulations. They have continuing education. So what it did for them, it took away the competition. So they're in favor of, of this passing. Wow, it's hard to believe. Joe Bird, thanks so much. Always good to talk You're to you. You're welcome, We'll John. talk to you soon.